Hi, this is Vi from Scrappy Mania, and today I want to bring you another project um, using some stamps and also some recycled wood. I love those wooden veneer pieces that you can purchase on two peas or online stores. I do not have a lot of those where I live, either from Michael's or Joanne's, or even my local craft store doesn't have it. So I decided to recycle some of the wood that was left over from my my bookcases that I did for my new craft room. So I had a um, three large eight inches by six long plank of wood and I had my husband cut them um, six by four and then he also cut some even smaller than that three by four and even this one was a little smaller and this one measures three by three. And then I have this heavy duty um, around the block. Now this is one of the first scrapbooking items I purchased and it's around six or seven years ago and what it does is a real strong um, corner rounder it can cut through tons of layers of paper it's made by around the block and and that's what I use to round up my corners on my wood and also to give it the ticket um, corner and it this machine or this 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 comes with three other cuts so that you have a straight cut and then you have uh, one eighth of an inch, you have a, a even bigger one, a, a bigger rounded corner and a smaller corner, rounded co um, corner, and then a straight, straight, um, straight cut. And it's made for cutting very heavy duty items and then to do the ticket you can either use it like this and insert it this way and it will cut um, like a ticket style or you can just put it this way and that will cut these quarters that you see there. So I use this to cut all my corners and then the next thing for this one I went ahead and used um, my stamp, my blank ink stamp, and I created a butterfly. I engraved a butterfly and also engraved, a, I did a punch out heart. And I used my Dromo with a, an engraver tip. So you're going to need an engraving tip. i also going to need some kind of toothbrushes, toothbrush so you can go ahead and get rid of the excess wood or the excess um, dust on your project. And then look how beautiful that will look with putting some black in black ink first and then color this whole piece with like a nice coat of cream color or yellow or even neon color. That will look very nice. So I'll create a layout using this piece, but I want to show you how to create this. So you're going to take your stamp and I like using black ink. I, I did try using um, some stays on, I mean some vice, vice, um, Versamark. But you cannot really see the Versa mark, so I am going to use some black ink. So you're going to ink up your stamp. And then you can stamp your piece. Now if you don't have an engraver, just simply stamp your piece. Do a better job than what I did, but you can just stamp your piece and that will look nice like that. But um, I'm going to engrave, use my engraver. And actually that came out a little crooked. Let me do a better job. Oh, that's okay. We'll just leave it that way. You're going to take your engraver. Now this one has 10, 10 different type of speeds. So I usually put it on the lower speeds, like at 2. And I don't recommend that you go higher than 2 because, well, if you're an experienced um wood carver then yeah you can go a little higher but if you're just starting out this is my first engraved piece and um, keeping it at two in this Dromo helped kind of keep make it a little more precise and I was able to control it so every once in a while you're going to need your toothbrush to kind of get rid of the dust and also you want to wear some kind of mask too so you're not breathing that dust in or you have a fan blowing the dust away from your face because it's very very dusty so here I'm just like taking 
I'm trying to get remove all the ink, the black ink. And just carefully just make sure you, there's a couple of layers on this piece of on, on this wood. So I'm just taking like the first two layers because this wood it has a lot of thin layers. It has a laminate layer and then some other ones. So I'm just trying to remove equal amount of the wood on all sides. Now I decided to make a window because I didn't, my viewfinder was not exactly square. So then I went ahead and rounded it out. And now I'm ready to kind of remove the heart. The heart I'm going to create like a punch out. So you really go over it and you don't really need to go over the center, just on the sides until it punches out. So I got it punched out, and then here I'm just changing my burr to um, something to help kind of um, smooth out the edges. And I'm using this big old burr. Not don't know the name of it, but it really worked well to kind of smooth out the edges, and then it smoothed out the inside of my piece. And then I'm going over the whole piece with it because I just don't want the splinters when I am ready to put this in a project. And I decided to stamp a little arrow on my piece and that's pretty much it. So here's my first piece and here's my second piece. So I hope I inspired you to to create some of these le cards using leftover thin, very thin wood. Just cut them by six, four by six and even three by fours um, and even smaller than that if you can. It is going to create a lot of dust but, so I would recommend that you protect your surface and then you'll need some kind of wood engraving tool and I happen to have a Dromo which works so I hope you inspire you and thank you for watching. Bye.